All right, so as we start this uh, Pythagorean, excuse me, this trigonometry unit, I always kind of like to revisit the Pythagorean theorem, and later on we'll revisit operations with uh, radicals and, and roots. Um, so we're here we're going to start with Pythagorean theorem. Uh, we want to recognize right triangles, and we want to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for missing side lengths. Okay, that's what we're going to go over in this video. In subsequent videos, we'll go over Pythagorean triples and what's referred to as the converse of the Pythagorean theorem, okay? But for this video, we're gonna focus on Pythagorean theorem, okay? Uh, first thing we need to understand what right triangles are, okay? Uh, it says fill in the blanks below using the terms legs, right angle, hypotenuse, and opposite, okay? So first thing, this blank is gonna be the legs, okay? It's these two sides um, that are adjacent to the right angle or that form the right angle, okay? So this side and this side form the right angle. They're called the legs. Uh, this obviously is the right angle. It's a 90 degree angle. Uh, use this symbol kind of to denote uh, that it's a right angle. If that box is not there, you're not, you can't be sure uh, that it's a right angle, okay? And this is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest always of the three sides and it is opposite the right angle. So the right angle is here. This is what we refer to as the side opposite, okay? And that's important when we get into um, the trig functions that we're gonna learn brief in, uh, in, a, in a few weeks. Um, the term opposite is really important, okay? Um, so some things to know about Pythagorean theorem. Uh, it only works with right triangles, okay? It only works with right triangles. And the Pythagorean theorem is that the sum of the squares of the two legs, so A squared and B squared, we're gonna refer to the legs as A and B, is going to be equal to the square of the hypotenuse, okay? So A squared plus B squared equals C squared, okay? Uh, the legs are interchangeable. It doesn't matter if you call one leg A or B. Uh, they're interchangeable, okay? Uh, but the hypotenuse must always be C. All right, so let's do a couple example problems and then we'll move on, all right? Uh, so in number one, first thing I need to recognize is that I have the legs. So this is a leg and this is the leg because these two sides form the right angle, okay? Uh, the missing side over here is the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle, okay? So we're gonna be solving for C here. So I'm gonna call um, A4 and B8. If you want to reverse those, that's perfectly fine. Okay. Um, and we're going to be solving for C. So I've got a question mark there. All right. So let's plug those values in and see what happens. So 4 squared plus 8 squared equals C squared. Um, 16 plus 64 equals C squared. Okay. When I square 4, I get 16. When I square 8, I get 64. Add those together, I get 80. Okay. Remember, I'm solving for C, not C squared, so I'm gonna to have to take the square root of both sides here, all right? And a little bit later on, we're gonna learn how to simplify radicals. For now, we're just gonna use our calculator and round to the nearest tenth, okay? So do the square root of 80, and you should get approximately 8.9, okay? Uh, we're rounding to the nearest tenth, so we're gonna stop at one place after the decimal, all right? Pause the video here, try number two on your own, okay? We're gonna be solving for this leg and then come back and check your work. All right, so um, I've decided to call this side B. All right, if I could I could call A question mark, I could call B 3.6, really doesn't matter. The important part is that C is 7.4, okay? So I've decided that we're gonna be solving for B here. Feel free to reverse those if you want to, okay? So plug those values in, 3.6 squared plus B squared equals 7.4 squared. When I use my calculator, I get the following, 12.96 plus B squared equals 54.76. Now, I need to subtract 12.96 from both sides, okay? So B squared then is going to be equal to 41.8. Again, remember I'm solving for B, not for B squared. So I wanna take the square root of both sides and we're gonna to round to the nearest tenth again. So B is approximately 6.5, okay? Now, in cases usually, generally, if you're going to make mistakes when you're solving for a leg, you're going to forget to subtract this value, okay? Maybe you're going to add it to the other side. That's a mistake that's pretty common that people make. The main thing you need to understand is this 7.4 has to be the largest value. So when you do your calculations, if you get B is approximately 8.3, for example, well, that can't happen because 7.4 is the largest side. So you know this leg has to be smaller than 7.4, okay? So always be aware of that, you know, what range your values could take. 
up here in number one, I should have gone into it knowing this value has to be bigger than the longer leg, which is eight. So I knew my answer here had to be larger than eight, okay? So always have that in mind when you're using uh, the Pythagorean theorem.